Just throw that toy something? Go for it. Seems the big guy's not around you. So, the Aeromancer stunned himself. You might want to poison yourself if you can. That was my idea. Go for it. Look at that nice heal on you. Um, shield up. Good idea. Okay, so... Oh, and now I'm frozen. Yeah, I know. Glory is mine. This is gonna hurt. For the swashbuckler with magic, the one that's 50 HP. Oof. As long as we can get one down and then maybe get a second one close to death, we should be good. Also, I just realized like how close to uh, that the Aeromancer doesn't have any magic armor left. Please don't be poisoned. Please don't be poisoned. Please don't be poisoned. Please don't be poisoned. Can you hit that swashbuckler? Ooh, you can, but I don't know if the things are going to target him, though. And... I can't do nothing now. Oh, it did! Okay, so that's helpful there. Yeah, magic shell. Tick. Quail Mancer is so evil. There's the glide. Okay. So. Wait. Cursed water. Yep. Applies to Cain, causing characters to take damage when healed. Okay, Champion of the Gods. Megalo, should I resurrect you? Meh, go for it. Where shall I put you? Uh, Samurai won't get hit the next turn. That's gonna be difficult with the Aeromancer going next. I would almost suggest, like, down here. Do you need healing potions? Got a few. Oh, but that's 
gonna um, maybe instead why not put him over here oh god now it's necro fire yeah it's decaying ground how the Man, the uh, Aeromancer went for him. <laughs> I basically have been perma stunned. This, ooh, it's blessed water down there. That that's helping us out. That voice, the same one from before. Answer. More fire. Oh, my God. have basically been stunned or frozen the entire time and it is over yeah let me load up the quick save yeah the quick save it this is a difficult fight you have to try to bum rush one down Do we want to train other fights? I mean, there are other things we can do, yeah. There are other paths. Uh, there is this one over here. That one over there. If you guys want to go that way. Or do you want to just keep trying this fight? I don't think uh, with the same level we can turn. Anyways, fine with me, but I don't think we have the stuff we need for this fight. Okay. Let's look around then for other stuff. All these picky... All these pigs are so loud. Ooh, Yarrow. talk with him apparently if you want to talk to him go for it so it's a dead magister up there yeah the dead seeker too you notice that oh uh 
up. Oh yeah, there is a dead magister up there. Well, that sounds like it's gonna go right into a fight. Mm hmm Okay, let's uh get ourselves prepared there, uh, midnight. I'll get some blood rain down. Are you curious something? Maybe you're good to go. Oh, he's going Oh, I see where you're going. I see where Midnight's going. He's going up top up there for, for, uh, yes. I, I like that idea, Midnight. I like so it. you're good to go? Nope, not yet. We're still getting ourselves in position. I think I'm already here. Let me get an incarnate up. All right, go for it. So the void noxious ones are have less physical and then the the regular void ones don't have that much um... midnight do you have your window open or something that's why we keep hearing your sirens it was getting a bit warm in here <laughs> And even uh, with uh, my windows closed, I can hear the sirens. Maybe you do something about your mic sensitivity then. Poison totem.
I want to slow him down. That's red. I would definitely say try it because it is such an amazing game. If you love deep RPGs with tons of story, I definitely would recommend them. Also, if you don't mind turn-based RPGs as well. Your choice. I mean, you could jump right into two and be perfectly fine. You could also start at one and then get like more into the story that then goes right into two as well. So it's really your choice. I I am perfectly, you would be perfectly fine jumping into two and not knowing the story of one. Because they do a good job explaining everything in two so far. Ow. Yeah, go ahead. Check, check it. It's always a good thing to see if you do have it or not. Yeah, we're playing the enhanced edition. Of course, that one had to go through this one. You have two classic and enhanced. Okay, yeah, you have one and two then, yeah. Yes, I am playing two. I'm playing Divinity 2. Hold on. The. Definitive edition. Oh, my turn now. Burn with me. Oh. Oh, Necrofire. That's not good. Yes, Enhanced Edition is a uh, one, but remastered. I did not know that there was a necrofire around in here. Sorry about that. Glory is mine. Glory is mine. Did I discover something to dig? I did. Well, that's new. And I do actually mean that in the truest form. <laughs> did you poison both of them? It looks like oh, you no, did. Magic armor. Hmm. Oh yeah, it would have poisoned both. But it didn't. That one's almost down. I don't know where he's going. Oh, he killed the other one? Wait, what? 
There was one that already was dead. Oh, I thought there were four. One dead. Huh. But yeah, so Divinity 1, you can do it uh, solo or co-op with a friend. Divinity 2, you can do co-op up to four or even solo. I recommend solo because then you get more story with the other people. Oh, that's where the necrofire came from. The dimensional bolts can do necrofire. Oh, it can? Yeah, because it just said the attack uh, necrofire blocked by magic armor. Because they're often necrofire there. Uh, it happened when a dimensional bolt hit. Oh, it's my turn. Chunky boys. Ooh, ooh. Do, you, do you see those like worms coming out of it? Ooh, disgusting. <laughs> you know I'd be down to play this more. game is so fun. And I would let you go first with everything. For more necrofire. More fire. Oh, that sucks. Can I actually see you now, Mangalus? Yes, I can. Right where I was. Completely agree. You still got the creeper, uh, creeper three, right? To uh, finish. for that fire to disappear. There we go. Also, yeah, there it is. Uh, my, the digging spot that I found randomly while fighting. Ooh, second skin, ring of intelligence, mask of strength. Fascinating. Uh, I like mine better. You need a. Do you still need a helmet, Mac? Yeah, my only gets one defense. Here you go. I await you. Can't equip it. Need strength eleven. Oh darn. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come here, Mac. This is gonna be so weird if I we can do this. Where are you? Hang on, I'm very close to my encumbrance limit. Let me see if I can... No, I'm just carrying too much gear. Okay, here. What I am going to do... I'm going to clear mind you. Peace of mind. Equip it. Yeah, but then... But I don't... Uh. It gives plus one strength. Yeah, I know, but... <laughs> I just want to. I want to see if this works. I just want to see if this sent, works. I already sent it back to you. Oh, well, let me send it back to you. 
and I want to I want to I want to try this. I want to see if this actually works. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. Yeah, let's it'll let me equip it. And let's wait until the clear mind disappears. I don't want to see if it still stays on you. Yes. It is. Oh. It's letting you see. Okay, that's that's cheeky. Uh, ooh. Okay. I found something. These gloves are good for you, Mag. Here you go. Because they have huntsmen. And oh, oh. oh you you're talking to some uh, Mag. Come over here. I mean, mid. I found something. Still, come over here. Wait, you just start listening in mid. Pip? Stand back, kinswoman, and keep your hands off your weapons. Convince me you're no magister, or draw one last deep breath. Okay, Mag's listening. I mean, Mid's listening. God dang it. I, um, go for it. Look about you, sister. Do you feel an all powerful sun or see the desert on all horizons? We are far from house and law. So don't you stand there and play coy with me. Not when the worms are licking their lips beneath your very feet. She notices your collar, and you can see the tension ease out of her martial pose. No. No, I suppose you don't look like a magister. Those dogs don't niche their own. Except for Alexander himself, as it happens. I apologize for the steel-tipped welcome, but lives are at stake. Hold on, I'll let you up. With one graceful motion, the lizard throws down a tangled mess of vines for you to climb. Come, ascend to the Sanctuary of Amadia. You'll find you're not the only guest here, but the Great Mother provides for all. And I think I need to talk to her. <laughs> you were fortunate yep. to have found this place. The hollow oh, yep. marshes. I actually have something have specific with, from uh, Stingtail. And you have found her. Her eyes grow misty, and for a moment, it looks like she's about to hug you, but thinks better of it. <laughs> oh, sweet prince, if I think of the perils you have faced, of the indignities you've had to suffer, but know that I, like you, will do all in my power to find your way home once more, unto the very throne. Thank you, your majesty. The honor of partaking in your destiny is all the reward I desire. We both know why you've come. We both know where I must take us. The dark. The dark. The dangerous dark. Dream with me, my lord. Dream with me. Her skin is warm against yours. Her breathing a sea that yours. You plunge and sink. You drown.